Hey, this is the Shadow Mantis, and welcome back to Let's Play The Shadow of the Colossus. This is episode 5, and in this- whoa, it's a weird camera angle. And in this episode, we will be taking on the 5th Colossus. Um, as said in the cutscene in the last episode, this Colossus can fly. So already you can tell this is gonna be- it's gonna be a, a little challenging. Um, it's not really that challenging, actually, of a Colossus. And where is it? Jeez. Um, it's actually... I wouldn't... I'm not going to say it's one of the easier ones, because it's not an easy one. Um, because it has actually three... Oh, wow, that's a weird draw distance, but, uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It actually has three weak points, not just two or one. And that's what actually makes it so challenging. Um, but we'll get to it when we get there. I'm pretty sure uh, while getting to this Colossus, there is an extra... Oh, wow. Where is this one? Where is this taking us? Yeah, there's an extra... There's some fruit that we can get on the trees. So let's look out for that. Um... Any fruit on this tree? I don't think so, but I just want to be sure. I don't think there are fruit on any trees like these. There are only fruit on, uh... There might be a lizard on that. Yeah, there is. Um, lizards, they give you more health if you can shoot them. Because what they will do is... they'll When you shoot them enough, their tails will come off. And, yeah. Lizards usually hang out around these save points. So if you find one... At least look for a lizard. I'm gonna just take a peek. I, I might have not seen one. But I'm pretty sure I did see a lizard. There he is. You guys see that? He was a lizard. He's climbing up there. There he is. It's gonna come around here any second now. Don't make a fool out of me, come on. The lizard's up there. Where is he? Is he dead? I don't think lizards die after one. I think it takes like two arrows to kill them. So, let's try and find him. No, I wouldn't recommend you go up to find them. Like, you don't, you don't go too close to them because you need to shoot them. You can't like hit them with your sword or anything. And it also kind of like I don't know if this actually does anything, but pretty sure it scares him away, so... Yeah. Wait, what? No. I'm not gonna fall off. Oh, wow. The lizard did... The lizard tail did come off. And as you can see, that's going to raise my stamina. By a lot. Wow, fair bit. Now let's go get some fruit over at the tree over there. Now I'm pretty sure this, this tree has like four or five or six fruits, so this is a very good tree to get fruit from. As you can see, there's three right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I said six. Seven. Wow. That is a lot of fruit. That all gives you more health. 
Any more? There are really- Oh wow, there is more, I see it. Like, eight, nine. Nine fruits, Jesus. That is a lot of fruit. Oh, there's more! Wow! Right up there, I see it. Get out of my way, grass. Wow. That's- that's impressive. Is that ten? That's ten. Oh my god. That is a hell of a lot of fruit. <laughs> my health went way up. Yeah, so it's very helpful to go there. Now, as you can see, there's lizards on the ground there, but... If they don't have shining white tails, they don't they're not the real like lizards that you need to find to upgrade your stamina. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure I actually played through this game first time without any lizards because I didn't know there were actually lizards in the game. So I just didn't go for them. I thought they were just normal lizards on the ground and they didn't do anything, so I, I didn't think the white-tailed ones mattered but uh they really help i wouldn't go for them like i wouldn't really go out of my way to get them but they do help a lot so here we are climbing the tower where the fifth colossus is and if actually you look in the distance you might actually be able to see it once we get to the top over here All right, here's a cutscene. Oh, there he is. He's not a big colossus, but he's one of the harder ones just because he's in the sky. I'm just laughing cuz at this point in the other video, I actually killed the Colossus by now, and now I'm just seeing them. In the last video, I just beat him right about when I get... I'll... I'm not... I haven't beaten him... You know what? Forget about it. I'm making a connection that by this time in the last episode, I had already beaten the Colossus for of that episode, and I'm just about to get to this one, so... Sorry if I, if you guys didn't didn't get that. It's actually faster to swim underwater than to swim above water for some reason. I guess it kind of makes sense, but uh, eh, not really. All right, so I would wait till you have full stamina for this. And then what you're going to want to do is take your bow and shoot the Colossus. And that's going to get his attention. And then it's going to fly down. And what you're going to want to do is jump right there. And here we go. Now, do not, like, let go until he's flat. And you know that he's going to stay flat for a while. The first of his weak points are on his tail. Or at least I'm pretty sure it's on his tail. Hopefully it's on his tail. Please be on the tail. I'm already moving down the tail. So this guy can be really tough, because he'll be turning upside down and stuff, and just doing anything he can to basically make your battle a little bit harder for you. Like, he'll turn sideways and upside down and everything. But other than, th but other than that... I just slurred my words right there. He's not that difficult. See? He's already going down pretty easy. So now what you're going to want to do is his weak points now 
He has two more, even though I already took out more than half of his health. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna go upside down or some crazy stuff. Maybe not. I need you to flatten your wings, because his wings are actually where the next weak points are. Yeah, on his wings. It's on those little, uh, those little patches of fur over there. Well, that's just not helpful at all, turning vertical. Come on. There. Now it should be good. Nope. And there. Oh, he's going upside down and everything. Now, is this weak point done yet? I don't think so. Oh, jeez. I don't think I'm gonna have enough health. I mean, uh, stamina. I'm gonna fall. Yeah. Oh well, I, I got two of his three weak points, and look at his health. When you fall down, he's going to uh, perch on another building. Over there. Somewhere. No, actually he flies around for a while. I don't think he perches for a while. Uh, my mistake. Sorry. So what you're going to want to do is actually go back to those three underwater kind of pedestals. And get on top of the middle one again and then shoot at him with your bow to get his attention again and then do the exact same thing you did earlier there he is shoot in front of him. Hopefully that got his attention. You just see from the camera angle. I think it did. Or not. There, that one did. Let's get ready. Now, it's gonna come right at us. This is the right wing I have to be on, too. You can see the vital organ. No, not an organ, it's just a vital. That's what I call it. No, I went way too early. Shouldn't have gone that early. That's my that's my mistake. Sorry guys. Should have waited for him to calm down. This Colossus requires a lot of patience. So I'm not very proficient at fighting this one. <laughs> I don't have very good patience, as you might have guessed. I am actually pretty rowdy. Where is he? Come on, those have to be hitting him. It's just a wonder that they can actually like program all of this into like a game and stuff. Like just all those fluent movements, like it's amazing. I find it amazing at least. Like, the movement of this Colossus is just astounding. Oh, he's coming right at me. I didn't even know. I just find it so amazing. Like, look at that. It's so amazing how, like, how well his movements are, like, programmed. Right, I need to get to the other side. Alright, if you could go horizontal, that would be great for me. 
there. Now he's gonna go upside down and everything. Oh, come on. Come on, just calm down. I need to stab you one more time. There we go. And he is down. And I just saw me fall. Like, into the little lake. I just find it so epic how they die. Like, how, how epic the cutscenes when they die are. That's just so epic. Alright, let's swim away from the noodles of death uh oh oh here they come oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oh no oh no oh no they're gonna kill me noodles are gonna kill me oh no oh there I go I'm dead Yes, I would like to save. Thy next foe is... A giant lurks underneath the temple. It lusts for destruction, but a fool it is not. And with that, I will end off the episode. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next part. Goodbye.